Sure. Um, yeah, so I, my business is called Nude on Traders. I work with sailing vessels to import and export cargo, mainly food, um, across the oceans. The ship I work with is called Gallant. It's a, um, about a 90 foot schooner that was built 100 years ago in Holland, uh, the Netherlands. And um, it is run by a French company and they're, the ship just arrived a couple of days ago in the Caribbean. Um, which is very nice for them <laughs> to be in the sunshine. And they will be sailing back in the spring with coffee and cocoa beans and panela sugar. Um, and then in the summer, they sail down to Portugal and back and pick up olive oil and almonds and wine and, um, and also salt from France. Um, we, I've been really inspired by food movements and local food movements around like community supported agriculture and models like that and really wanted to take see if we could expand that system trade system beyond oceans with sailing vessels um, as they travel with the wind and therefore um, uh, do not pollute as much and um, yeah and so I was really looking for a tool like the open food network for a while before I discovered it. And it was a real sort of like light bulb moment because it, um, it really uh, was exactly the thing that we needed. Um, how our system works is that we start collecting early bird pre-orders on a open food network order cycle, really as far in advance as we can ahead of the ship actually arriving. And then people can share in people who invest in the voyage that early are sort of rewarded with a uh, with the lowest price. So it's more or less um, buying the product at the cost of the product and the transport. And then they can also come and collect the order from the ship where it, when it comes in, um, which is really exciting. So you can help unload and get to meet the ship and see the meet the sailors and everything um and the next and then we get the pre the early bird pre-orders run until the ship um until we place the order with the producers the farmers once the order is placed we run a second order cycle um for pre-orders which we collect on whilst the ship is en route to its destination um, and then we also have monthly retail order cycles for the cargo that we have here um, after the ships arrived. So that way we give our customers like every opportunity to get involved as early as possible. And our hope really is to build that trust that they have in us and the quality of the products that we bring, that they will be willing to invest earlier and earlier um, so that we can financially feel more secure that the ship is, full, is filled with cargo and everything's paid for even before they've um, left the producer. And that works out really well for the farmers because they can really plan. Um, they know what they're getting, so they, we can pay them as soon as we load the cargo. The ship can also be paid as soon as they deliver. Um, and it feels like a much healthier trading system um, than the sort of default system that w works around what we're doing. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's about it, I think. <laughs> that's sort of the, a summary of how, how we operate. Um, yeah, happy to answer any questions later.